on the road in rural Ontario following clues to a path of destruction. Tornado trackers have come to the site of Canada's latest confirmed twister. We've received a report of uh, damage on this property. From Western University, researchers are assessing the aftermath as tornado warnings this week set off concern from Manitoba to Quebec. The questions people always ask, right, are there more tornadoes than there used to be? Like, you know, is climate change having an impact? And I mean, the answer for now is just maybe. The team deploys as soon as they hear word of damage like this in Tweed, Ontario. They found this large tree uprooted and this home very nearly damaged by this tree that fell down almost right on it. With tools like drones, the Northern Tornadoes Project is getting the clearest picture ever of Canada's twisters. A look at damage from above helping researchers classify this as an EF0 tornado. The latest among two dozen twisters this year in a Canadian season that's only beginning. You're finding more but you're also looking more. Exactly data gathered out there winds up back here at the research center where they're mapping damage and seeing Canada's tornado alley moving away from the prairies. This does match climate change predictions. Tornadic storms are going to ha start happening more often in the eastern part of the country and less in the western part of the country. Researchers are even using this simulator to gauge what to expect as devastation risks hitting more densely populated centers, the way an EF2 tore up Barrie, Ontario two years ago. The general misconception is that we don't get tornadoes at all, and if we do, they don't affect anything. Gathering more data, the team hopes Canada stands a fighting chance with earlier warnings of trouble ahead. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Tweed, Ontario.